Hey, Wits. Welcome back to my channel. Can you hear the birds chirping? It's warm outside. I am so happy that it's finally like warm enough to be outside in shorts. Um, I'm a Floridian at heart. I will always be. Um, so winter time here was really rough. Um, the snow being everywhere and it being like 15 degrees every day kind of killed my soul a little bit. <laughs> if you watched my goldenrod video, you'll remember that I harvested plants with a pair of old scissors and a pickle bucket. <laughs> Today we've <laughs> upgraded to a sickle. It's rusty, but it's not a pair of old scissors. So we're gonna use this, harvest up some malign, and then we're gonna make some hex tapers. I'm gonna try to light a fire and we're gonna melt the candle wax over an open flame. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if we're committed to that idea yet, so we'll see. But let's um, jump over the electric fence really quick. I'll get the mall line and then we'll go from there. So let's see. You're coming with me. Um, but as you can see behind me, those two stalks that are sticking out of the ground are mall line. That is the flower head that has dried and has been drying throughout the winter. So I feel like right now is the perfect time because it hasn't rained or snowed in a while. So they should be dry. So I'm going to teleport over the lovely electric fence. I got the sickle. Now that I'm injured, winded, <laughs> and my hair is a mess, I got the malign. They are huge. I didn't realize they were this big. But we're gonna make these into candles. Woo! Don't judge my fire making skills, okay? I wasn't a boy scout. I mean, I was for like a month. <laughs> so while that is doing its thing, I have this bucket of candle scraps. Just like spell candles that I've used. This one has petition paper in it. <laughs> but I'm just gonna melt those down in a double boiler. I have this giant soup pot I'm gonna fill with water and a little ladle to ladle the wax onto the malign stalks. But that is pretty much all you need and maybe some herbs to sprinkle on top of the malign stalk after it has the wax on it so that it can be your spell candle. However, with these, um, hags tapers you cannot burn them inside don't even try <laughs> i've seen so many videos about people just like saying that it goes everywhere the wax goes everywhere the flames are very high so just take extreme caution with these hags tapers because they can be very dangerous <laughs> now that i got my water and totally soaked myself in the process <laughs> Let me go get some water Tindo. I'm not talking about the air. So it's only been like a minute and my water is already starting to boil, which is great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on the top. Oh, the ambiance. So, trying to get in frame. I don't know if I even am, but we're gonna go with it. So while this fire rages behind me, I will show you the herbs that I selected for my road opening hags taper. The first one was calendula. Calendula is like a great, like light in the darkness kind of herb. Um, it's ruled by the sun, so you can expect all that juicy, good solar happiness. Um, black pepper, which I've talked about before, which is great for like blasting obstacles out of your way since it likes to repel things. And then also chicory, my personal favorite obstacle demolisher. <laughs> chicory is an amazing plant for road opening, for clearing the path. Um, but there's like a whole bunch of lore about chicory specifically that's super interesting. So I definitely recommend researching that. Um, my candles have not started melting yet and it's been about 15 minutes. So um, I'll check back in a little bit, I guess. So I was starting to think that maybe trying to build this or do this over an open flame was a bad idea. Oh, 
<laughs> now I'm getting smoked out of my eyes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, I was starting to think that this was a bad idea. But the more I think about the symbolism of building a fire, it's a lot like building a business. Because, A, it takes constant attention. You can't, like, walk away from a fire and expect it to be this raging flame that... Yeah, no, you can't just walk away from it. Um, and also, it... Uh, you can't just give up on fire building after your first failure. Much like building a business, you're gonna fail a whole bunch. So, just... I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you're feeling in a place right now, kind of like how I've been feeling for the past couple... months? Years? Um, don't give up. Especially if it's your dreams and something you're super passionate about. Like, it's gonna take constant work, and it's gonna take constant failure and getting back up from those failures but just know that you can do it even when it gets hard and you feel like it's the end of the world and everything is crashing around you and you just want to give up and crawl under a rock and do nothing trust me i understand what that feels like i have been there just two days ago and it feels good to just get it out but remember that having those moments of weakness and defeat and failure are totally natural and okay and it's okay to feel those emotions, even if you don't want to. Like, it's okay to not be okay, is what I'm trying to say. So, just let yourself sit with those feelings, and then pick yourself up and move on. You know, everybody has those low moments, but it's all about how you pick yourself up and keep going from there. If I would have given up on my business the first time I failed, honey, I wouldn't have made it through 2018, okay? <laughs> but... Here we are in 2021, and my business is doing okay. It's doing okay. Just okay, though. But that's okay, because I know it's a process, and it takes years to build a business. It takes a lifetime to build a business. So just don't give up. And that's, again, kind of why I was drawn to doing a road opening today. I'm feeling a little stuck, so I want to just, like, put this good energy out there and see what becomes of it. And while we're talking about my business, I do want to take a moment to talk about my oracle deck that I've been working on for a couple of years now. But Flower Boy's oracle started as a an idea. Obviously, everything starts as an idea. Back in about 2018, um, I started planning it. I started sketching it. And then I got discouraged and I gave up for like a year. And then I picked it up and then I got discouraged. And I put it back down and I quit. But I finally picked it up again and I've got all the sketches complete. Almost all of the line work is complete for each design. And I'm just about ready to paint every card and publish it. So um, here's a couple images from Flower Boys Oracle. A body positive queer tarot oracle deck. Oracle deck, not tarot. Um, but if you would like to see the progress and if you would like to help me support help me help me support if you would like to help by supporting what oh my god the smoke ah! but if you would like to support flower boys oracle i have my patreon linked below <laughs> it's only three dollars for a month and it unlocks every post um oh my god the smoke is so much uh. But if you would like to help me complete this deck, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. <laughs> As I see her crying. But yeah, it would really, really help. Oh my god, I gotta go. Thank you. It's starting to melt, you can see. But I wanted to show you what Mulline looks like when it's still alive. Um, this is the first year of the plant, so they don't have the flower stalks, but in their second year, they do grow like that really tall stalk that dries out and that we're going to use today. Mulline is like a soft, fluffy plant. I just love how it feels. It's so velvety. Um, I know it has a whole bunch of uh, uses, but I forget. Um, I know a lot of people use it as a substitute for graveyard dirt in their spells, so it can be used for that, I know. Um, I know it has medicinal properties too, but I'll just put those in the captions on the screen somewhere. So starting with our black pepper, I'm just gonna chaotically sprinkle it into while I visualize my intent. That's the most important part. I'm 
I'm gonna put a lot. That's probably good. Some calendula. very much chicory left but I'm gonna use some of it actually I'm just gonna use all of it doesn't that just look like a delicious soup so next we're gonna take our mullein stock I hope I'm pronouncing mulline right. I don't even know. So I'm just gonna start by pouring it over top <laughs> like this. And we're probably just gonna have to repeat this process about a hundred times. <laughs> we shall see. Don't do what I'm about to do. Now I'm sitting in the grass, so let's see if this works a little better. I hope if anything you're just enjoying the ambiance and the beautiful nature sounds all around. The birds are finally out. And it's just wonderful, and I love it. Oops, Ace. Hey girl. So the hags tapers are done, um, but it doesn't really make sense to burn them right now because it's super bright outside. So tonight after the sun goes down, I will burn one and show you what it looks like. I'm actually really curious because I've never done this before and I'm not really sure what to expect. I don't know if it's going to be like a torch, like a huge fire, or if it's going to be more like a candle. I don't really know. So we'll see. And if it's chaotic, I'll make sure to have a bucket of water.
I'm so sorry I forgot to film an outro, but hopefully this video wasn't too chaotic for you. I'm so sorry about the wind. I don't have a proper microphone. I'll get one soon. Hopefully. We'll see. I'm broke. Not important. Um, <laughs> but until next time, I will spell you later.